So this is number 11. And we're looking at this problem. I have x to the fourth, x to the fourth, y to the fourth, minus 8x squared, y squared, plus 16. So I need to factor this. And we always look at, is there anything we can factor out? Do they all share something? No, right? Yeah, close, but it's just not every single term. So what we're going to do is we know that we're going to write this in two factors, right? And pretty much what we want to do is we could do our whole a times c. If you notice, the coefficient of this is 16, and the coefficient of our middle term is negative 8. So we could, we could use this form again, 16 and negative 8. So what two numbers multiply to give you 16 and add to give you negative 8? Negative 4 and negative 4, right? So what we look up here, all right, is we know that we're going to have negative 4 and negative 4. Does negative 4 times negative 4 give you 16? Yes. Now our problem comes in, what two values are going to multiply to give us x, x to the fourth, y to the fourth? Well, what we're going to have to write is x squared times y squared, x squared times y squared. Because does x squared y squared times x squared y squared give us x to the fourth, y to the fourth? Yes. And then when you multiply your outer terms and your inner term, are you going to get negative x, negative 8x, y, y, y squared? A negative 8x squared, y squared. Yes. So there's your answer. There you go. Which, I'm sorry, one last thing. We've got to get used to writing this in this form. This is the same as this, right? Make sure you guys get